Now I already know what you're thinking. How'd you do that? Nice arms. That's the power through editing, boy. Happy Independence Day, everybody, or how most of the world calls it, July 4th, or how everybody looks at it from the calendar, the 4th of July. Since we try to be, you know, like quirky and theme oriented around here, I figured we'd do an American dish inspired from the American soldier veteran himself, Soldier Series 6, doing his the 76, because America was founded in 1776, along with oppression and a system that doesn't favor everybody. But every ice cream needs a pie, or does every pie need to? We're also doing a Hoosier sugar cream pie. So you know the drill. I almost slammed my nose with that. Let's just get him cooking. Because I don't want to go through an editing meltdown like I did last time, I'm just gonna do a quick little like, uh, there, there's all the ingredients that you need. So now we just like part the Red Sea. Small mixing bowl. Even though it is pretty cute, I do gotta admit, try to spoon this in, not so much cute. The spoon is just too big for this little hole. You know, I could say pause, but I, I plan for that to happen. Just add your cup of flour. Once again, we're back with the tablespoon shenanigans. Like, who decided that this, this big spoon is gonna be called tablespoon? I can understand teaspoon, but you don't drink tea, a table, not tea, you do drink tea. You're I'm sick of this. And then just a pinch, just a pinch of salt. Then yeah, tiny whisk those boys together. <laughs> that was so clean. Mix the dries in first so that you get an even consistency. Rub in butter until the texture resembles coarse breadcrumbs. Don't you mean just dried flour with butter? All right, six tablespoons coming right up. I'm still gonna use this. This has got to be my least favorite part about cooking pies and treats is rubbing butter with dry that isn't melted. Ugh. Look at what I'm doing, I feel stupid. You know what, while we wait for that to just somewhat get to room temperature, I forgot one step that I can now do because I actually have a fridge with ice. Watch! Ages of making pies. Soldier, I get it, you're old, but we got technology to make this easier. I don't know what technology can make it easier, but we got it, I'm sure. Like, if we got self driving cars and robots that can make you actually have a fulfilling love life, I'm sure we got something to make this just a tiny bit easier. One of the steps just straight up says, You may not use all the water. Well, what if I do, soldier? Like, are you really gonna stop me? Watch me, soldier 76, watch me pour this water. Okay, so there's one third cup of water. Pour that in. Watch this. What are you gonna do, huh? 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 What are you gonna do? So it's so mushy. <laughs> Yo, I'm actually low key scared that I wasn't really supposed to use all the water. But like, what does that even mean? Like, I can't use all one third's cup of the water. Do I gotta use one half of one third's cup? I don't even know what that equals out to. I haven't had a math class in four years. All right, guys. Here is our ball of dough. Our lovely, lovely child. Let's wrap them in plastic wrap. Last time we had a little <laughs> incident with the plastic wrap. Thank you up and up Target brand plastic wrap. All right, our little bundle of joy is soon gonna be a cooked bundle of joy and our bundle of cooked joy is soon gonna be an eaten bundle of cooked joy. Just gotta throw this in the <laughs> Okay, next up, in a medium saucepan, we need to whisk together milk, cream, sugar, nutmeg, cornstarch, so, oh my god, soldier. Can you please just calm down for five seconds with the ingredients just being added? First up, we get, why is it dripping? Brown stuff. Hey, okay, get that in there. Hurry, because we got actually a lot of things that we gotta do. So, I, I know what you're probably thinking. Editing Zach, why are you so much cooler than recording Zach? Which then at that point, don't I become recorded Zach? But I'm about to cut like an hour's worth of footage here. You might be thinking that I'm cutting it because I'm using a frying pan to try to make the filling. And you're only one quarters of the way correct. See, I had to make this filling like four times because it's not me that failed. No, it's it's the cooking book. It didn't tell me that I needed to bring it to a boil. It said I need to bring it to a simmer so that I can thicken it. Just watch the video. Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? I've been whisking constantly for 10 minutes. It says to whisk until a little bit thicken, which you know how I like my girls, but also my creep. It's nowhere, it's nowhere thick. It's not thick. It's not thick. I still got them double thick thighs. No lie. 
Whatever, whatever. It's not thick, but it's fine. Sometimes thick isn't always good. It is always good on mine. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. My boys, after four tries, this is my fourth one. I finally got it thick. So, you don't whisk constantly right away. You put it on medium heat, you let it get it heat up first, and then you constantly stir. Then you add the butter. Then you add the vanilla. Oh my God. I am just so happy. I finally got this figured out. I was about to throw in the towel. I was about to call out Soldier 76 saying that your recipe is so whack, but no, my boys, it worked out. This is why I'm the number one chef. I don't give up on the first try, or the second try, or the third try. Now the fifth time, that's different. But luckily we got it on the fourth try, boys. Just look at that. Look at how thick that is. Now we preheat this oven to 300. And 75 degrees. Then we set this to the side, and then we gotta roll out a ball of dough. And I'm blunt after that, bruh, and I don't even smoke. Soldier almost had me, I will admit. Like, out of all the heroes that have a hard recipe, it's Soldier. He's the easiest hero in the game. We're just gonna roll this sucker out, and then we're gonna drape it in our cake pan or pie tin. Please do not break. Oh my god. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Drape it, it, that barely fits. You can roll out a little bit more, can't you? Just gonna add a little bit of pressure. Show it who's boss. I'm boss. It's gonna break. It's gonna break. It's gonna break. It's gonna break. Ah! God dang it. Ah, oh, jeez. I needed to butter the pan. It's fine. We can leave it like that. We have some excess butter here, so let's just use it. Be economical. Please just fit back in nice and sound. No, it's still not big enough. I had too many times. I don't need it for my pie. You know what? That's all I have to do. It doesn't fit all the way. Pause. I, I'm so sad right now. I don't even want to laugh at my own stupid sexual jokes, but this is gonna have to do. So just like me in school, you're gonna be a prick and do it all over. Don't miss a spot. No, no, no. Soldier, I swear to God, this pie better be the best pie I ever had. Cook that for 10 minutes. <sighs> a few inches later. So the sun is doing that thing again. I hate you. But now comes the hard part. Putting in our filling. Are you gonna be nice? Are you gonna be okay? My, my camera's dying, so you need to kind of be okay. Oh, yep, yeah, that is overflowing. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're just gonna put that much in. I, I don't think we need any more. And then, after that 10 minute span, we do 15 minutes. Several bad puns later. All right, my boys, and then after that 15 minutes, oh geez, that is hot. Once that 15 minutes is up, look at what you've created. Oh my God, beautiful. Tomorrow. It is way too early to be doing this. It's freaking 11.52 in the morning. Uh, let's make the 76. I was reading it, basically, it's just a fancy looking milkshake. I am so down for this. Get a bowl, that's not for weed. And then white chocolate chips. It just had to be white, bro. <laughs> now what we're gonna be doing is melting chocolate. Oh no, boys, I might not have enough cream. I don't typically melt chocolate, so I'm gonna be watching this like a bird's eye. How long do we melt it for again? <laughs> you always stop it before the, it still beeps. All right, then we just stir it in. We don't wanna burn the chocolate. Once you have your melted white chocolate, and the neighbors working on their lawn. You're gonna take a jar. Now, the only jar that I have is the same jar that I use the Orissa ice cream with, but I think it's perfect because, well, this is still ice cream. And then you're gonna dip the rim of it, like a little rim job. Oh, that's cute. That's perfect. Yep, let the excess drip a little bit. Yep, yep. This is gonna be dripping for a while, ain't it? Then it says to roll the rim in red and white and blue sprinkles for 4th of July. I only have gay pride sprinkles. You know, for this 4th of July, I figure that we can celebrate something more than just the birth of America, but the equality for every man, woman, whatever you identify as, of every race, gender, religion, just a a everybody. There's our rimmed gay pride mug. Let's move on to the ice cream. So now we get to do some fun things and we get to mix in some food coloring. Oh my God, that turned red real quick. <laughs> Let's also do blue because Soldier 76 in blue. It says to drizzle the side of it. I see the girls at Starbucks do this all the time. I am intimidated right now. And do a little swirl. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's that's looking stupid. That's looking real stupid. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that looks even more stupid. Are you serious? I gotta really make whipped cream. Ah! Ah! Oh crap, I forgot the red food coloring. 
we're not done. This has more steps than the actual pie recipe. Milk, ice cream, vanilla extract, blender. We need two cups. Oh my God. I have exactly two cups left. Ice cream for breakfast. Eight year old self would be so happy right now. Now I wash my teaspoons. I'm too lazy to get them out. So I'm just gonna use this as a measuring cup. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's blending perfectly. Here's our milkshake. This is so much. How about we get our pie from the fridge? There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see! Now let's sprinkle some cinnamon, the best spice known to man, and some nutmeg. You want to be kind of generous, but not too generous. You don't want to oversaturate this already beautiful pie. Oh my god. Oh, that is so... A lot. That's a lot of <laughs> sugar cream pie. Boys, look at this. Look at how beautiful this pie is set. Look at the crust on that. Oh, so perfect. All right, milkshake, in you go, buddy. Let's get our frosting on there, too. All right, boys! Here is Soldier 76's Hoosier Sugar Cream Pie and the 76 milkshake. I kind of want to try the milkshake first. Hold on. Oh my god. That is the best vanilla milkshake I've ever had. Oh, hold on. oh my god. Hold on. It's a little bit liquidy. I could easily add more ice cream, but you want to be able to drink through it through a straw. But how about this pie though? I always hear good things about sugar cream pie, so I better be taking on a why is the crust so hard? I, I hear a lot of good things about this kind of pie, so I better be taking on a journey. Oh, oh, mm, okay, oh, mm, okay, so, mm. <gasps> no, no, um, <clears throat> I made a mess with my milkshake, <laughs> so the sugar cream pie, it's good, but the crust is really hard, like, like, I had a workout in my mouth trying to chew this thing up, maybe it's because I put it in the fridge and you're not supposed to, but doesn't it make sense to put it in the fridge, like, just look at me trying to cut this piece of, but, like, I can't, and you should be able to take a fork and cut it like you do in the movies. Out of these two recipes, definitely do the milkshake. Ten times out of ten, I would do this over. The pie, like, oh my god, this was a journey and a half to do. But guys, happy 4th of July. Stay safe out there, and have an amazing day. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come, and bye.